Now that's kind of cool. Built right in the side of a hill. Lyman Soul, erected in 1874. I'm assuming it's probably the guy that well made whatever you want to call it this cemetery. Uh, in previous episodes, I've brought you guys plenty of Medal of Honor recipients, like Philip Petty, who's in a rural town of called Daggett, Pennsylvania, or James Lee, who's in Oswego, New York, or Dr. Mary Edwards Walker, who is the only female to ever receive the Medal of Honor, who's actually buried about 60 feet away from James Lee up in Oswego, New York, at rural cemetery. So... Let's get into it. Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing really well. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be about a Medal of Honor recipient. But I'm actually, sorry, let me let me back up. I'm currently in Auburn, New York at Seoul Prison, the prison cemetery that they have here from the old insane asylum that they used to have back in like the 1890s, early 1900s. Why am I at a prison cemetery, guys? Well, you see, that's the story that I'm going to be giving to y'all today. It's about a man named Robert Buffman. He was actually a Medal of Honor recipient during the Civil War. And hold on just a second, and we will get started. So I'm on this hill, so I'm going to try not to bust my butt walking down it for you guys. And I'm sorry if there's a little bit of noise in the background but there's literally a fire department right there but anyways let's talk about mr buffman here and you guys will find out why i'm at the prison section of the cemetery it's quite the story but robert buffman he was a second lieutenant during the civil war he was born in 1828 on july 7th in salem massachusetts and he died july 20th 1871 right here in auburn new york he was the third person to ever receive the Medal of Honor. There was actually 19 out of 25 of them at the time. He was the second lieutenant during the Civil War. And has, his citation is going to read, One of the 19 of 24 men who were directed of General Mitchell penetrated nearly 200 miles south into enemy territory and captured a railroad train at Big Shanty, Georgia, and attempt to destroy the bridges and track between Chattanooga and Atlanta. That, my friends, is his citation. It's starting to flatten out a little bit here, so we're good to go. He actually, President Lincoln actually presented him with the Medal of Honor, which is pretty cool. But his Medal of Honor place was a place called the Great Locomotive Chase. The surviving members were all the first to be awarded the newly created Medal of Honor. Now, hold on. Now we're going to get into a part of the video where it's not good. It's it's not good at all for the research that I did around here for, for this guy. But... It's still history. It's still a story to tell. So we're going to get into it. You see, in 1863, post-war, Second Lieutenant Buffman became a, an uncontrollable alcoholic, and he offered some, suffered from psychological damage as result of the war and time spent in the Confederate prison. You know, today we know that as PTSD. Back in 1863, it was undiagnosed, obviously, with, for anything. So he had he had his troubles. And my dad, I've talked about him many times on here. My dad suffered from PTSD after Vietnam, and it was never easy for us growing up. But eventually, he got the help he needed. But back in 1863, you know, there was no resources like that available to him. Let's see. One night, he began to drink. And following an argument with a man who vilified President Lincoln, he shot and killed the man. He was indicted for murder and sent to the state asylum of Auburn as an inmate. As an insane criminal, actually. And this, my friends, is where Mr. Robert Boffman is buried. He was actually never, he was not interred here at first. 
later on he got interred here. He actually, I told you this was going to be part of the video, it wasn't going to be good. He actually slid his own throat in a cell at the uh, Auburn Correctional Facility back in 1860, 1871 it was, yeah, 1871 he died, so, but there you go, it's not long, but it's the story of Robert Buffman. I like telling these stories to you guys. It's a lot of fun for me. And I mean, this is only a couple, like an hour away from home, a little over an hour away from home. So, but if you like this kind of stuff, please give me a like, shoot me a like, shoot me a comment. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And while I'm here, while we're here, like we do with all my other vinyl recipients. <sighs> Mr. Buffman gets a penny. So, that's about all I got for you today, guys. Um, yeah, it's going to be winter. And it wouldn't be like a Gary video without it raining or snowing or someplace being closed. So, I don't know. Hope you all have a great, great day. And I will talk to you all later.